Hi everyone, welcome back to another pick a card reading. I'm Shirley Harnish. Hi. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. We are doing a pick a card reading that is open messages from spirit. We're not going to limit what the topic is. We're going to find out what it is that spirit needs us to know right now that is going to help us on our path. Okay, so for choices, we are going to be using um, my second deck, the Divine Guidance deck. And we've got our baby Buddhas, because we all know that I'm a Buddha-holic, right? <laughs> so for our choices, we are doing our first choice is our Prayers Buddha. And he has his little amethyst there. Okay, so that's group one. Group two is our manifesting Buddha because he has the world on his lap. And three is our peace Buddha with his little peace sign. He's so cute. And as an extra bonus this week, we are also doing charms to go along with readings. Hey, because I know you guys love them. Okay. Pause if you need to to make your choice, and I am going to get us started in our readings. Hi, group one. Okay, what messages does Spirit have for us this week? Let's move them right there. So he's still a part of our reading, right? Okay. They always need a good shuffle. We're going to take out, I think we're going to do four. Let's go. First one out. This is looking good. This is rewards. That means something good is coming your way and not just out of, you know, dumb luck or anything like that. It's rewards. So this is for past actions, um, past and we have openings. So we have rewards and openings. Okay, this is really getting interesting. I want to take this one here. Astral realms. Oh my goodness. Okay, and okay. So we have Archangel Michael. Um, this card loves to make its way out almost every time I use the Divine Guidance deck. And I really believe it's because um, Archangel Michael is such a big assistance to us when it comes to relationships and, I mean, of course, our soul's evolution and stuff. But relationships seem, you know, to be intensifying and our lessons around them. And this guy comes out almost every time. So Archangel Michael, it is about helping us to release that which no longer serves us. And most often times it's in the relationships that are no longer serving us or the energy attachment that we have to relationships because, I, you know, there are some relationships that give us juice even if it's not a healthy relationship, or maybe I could say even especially if it's not a healthy relationship, we get that roller coaster ride, we get that um, that uh, dopamine hit from all the ups and downs that's going, and it's about releasing ourselves from that. But oftentimes, it can be about working the energy personally, you working the energy and severing the cords, the energy cords that you have with particular people, particular relationships. And in doing that, uh, the energy restores or balances in a way where this up and down becomes, you know, a much smaller up and down where it's more balanced and a, a fun ride, not like a crazy screaming on the roller coaster ride. So there is something about you guys still 
processing, uh, releasing the relationships that are, are not, I don't want to say they are not serving your higher good because every relationship we have does. But this is more like severing the, the energetic connections that you have to people that perhaps should not have such a big part in your life. And I'm trying to say that nicely, but you guys know what I'm talking about here. But the nice thing is, like, it almost feels to me with this rewards card showing up that you guys have been doing the work. You have been assessing your relationship, seeing where you're putting your energy out, where it's not being returned to you or where it's being drained from you. And that in that process of trying to, you know, get your life and relationships back into balance, it feels to me like there's a huge opening happening here and we have the rewards card. And so, you know, with that card showing up, uh, it's like I said when I flipped it. It's saying that there is something in the works coming your way from the fruits of your own labor, whether you intentionally did it to gain benefit, you know, like, oh, I, I started a new business or something like that, to the things that we were talking about, like cleaning up the relationship arena and rewards coming from having a nice, fresh, clean slate to work from. But there's something good coming your way. And I have a feeling when we get into the charms, it's going to be a lot more descriptive. But what's crazy is we have these two purple cards sitting smuck in the middle. And this one is the opening card. And... It's literally like the veil is being pulled back and we are looking into the cosmos. And this is an intuition card. And it's talking about your um, intuition opening, your, intu your natural intuitive abilities. And a lot of the times when we do clean up um, the relationship arena and we aren't getting drained energetically, it really clears the way for us to make a deeper spiritual connection to spirit. It makes it easier when we're not listening to the chaos that could happen in particular relationships. When that is cleaned out, it leaves this really beautiful space of peace and quiet and contentment. That is like the nurturing ground that, that fosters our own natural inner voice. And I have to say, like intuition, and I have to say this is also talking about, um, you know, it's, I won't say red flags, but it, red flags are a good example. You know, oftentimes we get red flags and we ignore them. <laughs> We're like, you know, I'm just going to carry on with this relationship. And so with the opening card here, it's talking about being more um, able to hear the, your own inner voice, your own inner guidance and higher spiritual guidance as well. And, you know, you could see that almost as a reward, but this is your natural way of functioning. So there's something about you guys coming back to your natural way and then we have astral realms and this card is kind of like once you've got that veil opened and you're peeking into the cosmos this card is now we've got a number four and this is 13 which totals four so these two cards four is balance think of the four legs of a table it's sturdy and solid. So there's solidity, there's um, stability coming in here in this reading. And I, I'm, I'm going to say it again. You guys have been doing the work is what it feels like to me. 
So with that astral realms, you know, sometimes they are talking about some of you will be on that level of um, experiencing out-of-body experiences or having extremely lucid dreams that seem real. And I have to say that if this is the case for you, <laughs> they are real. They are really happening in another level of reality, in a different dimension or realm, if you want to put it that way. But this also has a connection to dreaming and your intuition functioning. So I feel like they're talking about this real balance in your natural gifts that you have. And I have a feeling that you guys are going to be utilizing them in some tangible, real way. That's what it feels like here. So I'm just going to draw, let's draw, let's draw two more cards quickly to get a little support. And I feel like it's, oh my gosh. Wow. Whew. Okay. So the first card out is loved ones. So you have one about intuition. You have one about making higher connects and connections energetically to different realms or um, different levels of being. And then we have the loved ones card. And this one is talking about that, that wow, your people that you have loved who have passed over or even, you know, generations in your family, oftentimes our ancestors, grandparents, great-grandparents, they watch over us. And it's talking about this stronger connection, you know, seeing signs from them, um, just feeling, you know how sometimes you can just feel their presence, even though there's nothing really tangible here in the world that tells you they're here. There's, there's something very important in this process that you guys are going through, that you are directly getting support, love, comfort, help, assistance from the other side in getting into this. So you guys have some big things coming, opening, like I don't know how we want to put that. And interesting enough, this little guy, <laughs> this is like, a set of lips and there's teeth but these teeth are pointing inward and they're sharp and this card is called self-talk and when we have been dealing with difficult relationships and that can be family not just you know intimate partners and things like that you know all of the relationships when when we've had to deal with things like that, we have a tendency to internalize events happening out here in the world, um, to internalize it and uh, self-blame. And this self-talk card, you know, I feel like this is something that you guys are have been coming aware of because that in this process of healing and cleaning things up in the relationship department, you've also been working on the one single most important relationship that you will ever have in your entire lifetime, and that's the relationship with you. And I feel like they're talking about you getting the support you need in really coming to that place of truly treating yourself with kindness, with love and respect, with being able to catch yourself in those moments when, you know, you drop something and you go, oh, I'm such an idiot. You know how we say these things. We don't even aware in the moment. So there's the awareness of how you are speaking and treating yourself. Because for those relationships improvement in the relationship area for that to happen there has to be on some level an improvement in your relationship with you 
with yourself. And I feel like they're saying that this is already in the process. You're already aware of it. Now, like I said, I want to know what are the rewards coming? So stay with me. Let's go look at the charms. Okay, group one. We're just going to dig in here. Let's see what we've got. I want a couple letters. Let's get some letters. And for astrological signs, we have Taurus and Aries. Okay, so Aries, uh, these the astrological signs can represent people that are going to be important over the next couple weeks or types of energies that are going to be prominent. Now, with Taurus, Taurus is ruled by Venus. Um, there can be a little bit of bullheaded stubbornness because we have the bull and the ram, right? So we have two uh, horned creatures that kind of like to charge. So there's a movement forward coming in for you guys, okay? Now, I know that we had here, we'll just come back here. We had the rewards card, right? And I feel like they're not talking about you um, charging in on this stuff, but that you're going for the things that you deserve to have. If, do you understand what I mean by that? So, um, and this is starter energy. Aries is about starting new things. So there's new things coming up over this next little bit with Taurus that's going to give some, give you security. The rewards that we were talking about are bringing you more security and Taurus being ruled by Venus is usually financial but it can be security also in relationships. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have the letter C, the letter F, the letter S, and H. Okay, so these can be initials of people who are important coming up, or initials of things and events that could be happening. Now, I just wanna see what do we have Oh my goodness. Okay, I haven't seen this one before. It's a sewing machine. And, you know, we were talking a lot about the Archangel Michael card, cutting cords, um, the work that you guys have been doing. And I feel like they're talking about um, mending. If you want to, you know, sewing is like mending the holes. We mend our socks, well, used to and uh, mending the relationships, mending where we were talking about cutting cords. I feel like this isn't a cutting of a cord and the person is out. I feel like this is a mending of the relationship in a way that bonds you in a closer way. That's the energy that I get from that. And we have the hanged man, the skeleton hanging. And it's literally, you know, Michael is about taking things down to the bare bones in the relationship and cleaning out what doesn't need to be there. And it feels like letting the past be the past. So with, with this showing up, it is saying that it's coming to that place of forgiveness, letting bygones be bygones, and moving into the future kind of on a new foot or in a new way. Now, I grabbed way too many. You guys, I'm not going to be able to read every single one of them. But I do want to talk about this. Um, we have a dinosaur here. And that dinosaur is old history, right? And it kind of comes into the same theme as with letting the past be the past. Like let the bones lie where they are. I feel like there's stuff that's ancient history that there's, it's getting healed. It's getting mended, old wounds being mended from your past. And this can be going right back into childhood. And, you know, for those of you who do past life work, I would have to say that 
it's also talking about um, rectifying issues from past lives. And what else do we have here? Ooh, nice. So we have our little magical unicorn. And that's usually about the things that we consider mythical, the things that we would consider impossible being real and very possible. Um, what else do we have here? We have a hummingbird. Okay, so the hummingbird, you know, there's a lot of strength that comes with a hummingbird because they have been known to chase eagles. And I feel like it's like that gentleness that we were talking about with the um, um, loved ones card and Michael and also the speak your truth card that this is about really coming at things with that gentleness okay and I feel like this is what you guys will be doing anyway and you know the hummingbird drinks a lot of nectar in the day and I feel like it, it is extracting all the goodness out of your past relationships and all the good extracting all the goodness that's coming up here um, as far as the rewards that are coming now this is interesting because we have a lock and we have the key so you know this is things are getting unlocked things are getting opened and I have to say that I would absolutely say that on one level it's on the heart level but I also want to say that we were talking about the astral realms and um, the opening card and the opening of intuition. And I feel like this is just backing that up by saying that, you know, it's like you gain the key to unlock your access to your intuition, to bring it up to that next level. Um, when I see this, this horn, as soon as I see horns, I know this is not a trumpet, but it reminds me of Archangel Gabriel with the trumpets and the horn. And that horn is heralding in new times. And that's what I'm getting with that rewards card is like, you know, you've dealt with these other things in the past. And because of the work you've done, you've got all this great new stuff coming in. And I want to talk about this one here because we've got the book, which uh, some for some of you, this is going to be studying, learning, courses, classes. Um, this could be the completion of classes and courses. Or for some of you, it might even be uh, stepping into a teacher kind of role. Now, with the French fries... <laughs> it's kind of cute we have these french fries here and you know sometimes we have to treat ourselves and I feel like this is you guys allowing yourself to indulge in those guilty pleasures over the next little bit that you've done the work now you're reaping the rewards and you get all those good little treasures coming through but there's definitely a transformation because we have the swan and we have the shoe now shoes represent our hmm, protecting ourselves as we walk on our journey and I know some of you guys who um, don't identify very well with female shoes it's it's not about that feminine shoes it's about the fact that it's pink, which represents the heart chakra, another color of the heart chakra. And we have a heart here. And so it's saying, it's talking about walking your path from your heart, from a place of love. That, I mean, it is so beautiful. And we have the peanut. And the peanut, you know, in one way, it is a seed. And it's about planting seeds. But I feel like that's not the message with you guys this week. Because you already planted the seeds. You're reaping the rewards. And I feel like it's in the tiniest things. You know, 
to children and we'll say, okay, peanut, because they're tiny. And I feel like this is breaking open these things that appear small when we first experience them, but they bloom forth with, you know, they tend to be bigger and greater than we had imagined when we first uh, encountered it or have it come through. We also have the ships, the steering wheel of the ship, and this really goes along with this whole ram bull energy, that starter energy. This is a very masculine energy of you are leading the way. You are taking control of the helm. And you guys are going to be directly influencing where you want to go. And I feel like with this child showing up, it's giving that, ah, that enjoy, playfulness, um, lightness that we all need, you know, that we aren't taking things so seriously. It's not heavy. You've done the heavy work and now it's playtime for you guys. Okay. And we've got the flower, which is that blossoming open sort of energy, which brings me back to the opening card here, right? That you've got things opening up for you in a really beautiful way, blossoming. So there's more to these rewards than you can even be conscious of right at this time. And we have the music symbol. So in one way, this is like um, going with the flow, the tune, the rhythm, the beat of how life is moving. And I feel like this is in a very fun, light, playful way coming up for you guys that they're talking about. And then we have the tree of life sitting here. And this is a talking about you really putting roots down into this. And what I mean by that is that it's not, this is not a temporary thing. You know, good things come and then they're gone and you're back to dealing with the crap. That's not what this is talking about. This is talking about you um, laying your roots, making it permanent. These are permanent changes coming in. And, oh, the last one here is the rake. And that rake is like literally raking in the dough because Taurus is about financial security. And I feel like you're raking it in. So, oh, and we have the ladybug. Okay, ladybug is luck, right? But I don't want you to think of it just as luck. But that, you know how you just, when things are working out well, you feel like, how did I get so lucky? It's that kind of energy. This is not dumb luck. This is you guys have done all the work to reap your rewards, okay? And this, you guys are harvesting some really beautiful things. And I want to say with the coat hanger, because I just noticed that here, that's hanging, hanging things up and storing them away in the closet. And I feel like that really does go along with letting the past be the past, um, old let bygones be bygones, the healing of the old, and not stuffing things in the closet. This is in a very organized way, putting away the old things, the old clothes, the old you that you used to wear, putting that in the closet with love so that you can blossom into all this newness that is coming here for you. Now, I am available for personal readings and all the information is down below. I want to tell you guys I love you. Mwah! And I can't wait to see you next week. Take care. Hi, group two. Okay. They're already well shuffled, but it's always good for you guys to see the shuffle happening here. So, good. What messages does spirit 
have for our group two, right there, that one and this one is sticking out to me too. Creative. Creative. Okay, so we've got the juices going and flowing. Freedom. Om. O-M. This is looking eerily similar to a, a private reading that I did yesterday. My goodness. And I feel like I need that one. Oh, and intimacy. Okay. So uh, I know you guys want to hear the juicy stuff, but we've got two things happening here. And this intimacy card is, if you look at it, it's almost like a rose and there's these two spirals coming in from each side into the corner, spiraling into the center, into affinity. And that intimacy card is talking about a deepening of your intimate connection. This can be with a partner or a good friend. Um, and even in your spiritual connection with spirit. But most of the time, this is talking deeper levels of intimacy coming in in your relationships. So I feel like that's a letting down of guard on your part, like really trusting that it's safe and okay for you to, you know, share some of the more uh, tender areas or the places that you tend to protect and opening up to that because as you do, as you do this sort of heart opening, opening, taking down the wall a little bit and letting people in, what also happens is your energetically, your guard comes down, it softens. And it's much easier for spirit to connect, for us to connect with spirit and spirit to connect with us. And our intuitive connection, intuition, and creativity flow through the same channel. It's a right hemisphere of the brain uh, happening or event. And the reason I'm saying that is because we have the creative card. And that creative card is talking about, you know, it can be the actual artsy stuff, you know, like painting, singing, dancing, sculpting, and all of that stuff. But it can be um, opening up to deeper creative ideas, creative expression, so that even if it isn't traditional artistic, it is still doing things in a much um, in a much more intuitive way that is that flow of natural creativity that gets the job done. Like, let's say uh, you're going to start a new business. Creativity with this card coming in says there's something about the way that you um, figure out the way to market it or figure out the way to work out in your relationships. Like there's so many things going on here, but see what's interesting is we have the freedom card. It's literally called freedom. And this is a Nautilus. It's just, a, it's a snail shell. And it's about coming out of your shell coming out and joining the world. And that's why I was saying it is you, you know, taking down these bits of your walls. And as you do that, as this natural process of you going, okay, it's good. I can come out here. I can, you know, share myself a little bit with the world. This whole flow of creation is coming forth. This creative force of nature because you're allowing yourself out here and that allows the flow back in through you and out of you. Now, this one is interesting because we have the Om card. 
O M, like OM, right? And that is very much a throat chakra card, throat expression, expression in your relationships, expression of yourself as a soul out here in the world. But another big point with the OM card is that this is about taking the time for yourself to get quiet, to get tuned in, um, meditation, um, contemplation, doing, um, in, what was an, one of them I heard? Coloring, because it switches when you're doing coloring and things like that. It switches you from logical left brain into the creative, intuitive right brain. And so this is asking for you to kind of switch modes, but I feel like it's not really asking. I feel like this is a part of the process that they're saying is coming up, is that deeper connection with yourself, with your creativity, with spirit. In so many ways, you guys are on a whoosh, out kind of motion in the energy that's coming through in this reading. It's very cool, to be honest. Okay, and oh my gosh, and we have Speak Your Truth, which is another hot card that just loves to come out every reading. Speak Your Truth and Infinite Possibilities. Okay, that is completely backing up. I feel when I was saying that you're in this creative mode, right? This card, the Infinite Possibilities card, it also has two spirals in green coming through and we have the infinity symbol. And with that card, it's saying, you know, there are no actual limits. The only limits is what we perceive to be limits or what we believe to be limits. And, you know, this card in one way is like a reminder that you are the ultimate creator of your world. You are a creative as a soul and a divine being. And it's a master number 11, but it's, it's in the creative realm. So I feel like there's something for you guys that is to be birthed, to be brought out into the world that deepens your connection both with your creative soul, your creative madman inside, and connects you more deeply, grounds you out into this physical world also. And, you know, where I said we have the Ohm card, which is a throat shocker card, we have the Speak Your Truth card. Now, here's what's funny. You guys saw me draw these. Infinite Possibilities is 11. Speak Your Truth is 29. 2 plus 9 is 11. You have double 11. These are builder numbers. These are action numbers. They're challenge numbers. And it's this is totally you guys are bringing something out into the world something to be born and speak your truth is literally yes it's about speaking your truth in relationships and saying you know things that maybe you would tend to hold back but in this i feel this is more like you expressing yourself out here in the world at large it doesn't have the i mean it could be um, individual relationships that there's some work to be done there but this to me it's all it's so about giving your self voice giving your soul voice out here in the world giving this whatever it is that is coming through you giving it is that expression if voice is our expression out here in the world so um, there's even more to this. And I feel like the charms are going to pinpoint exactly what it's talking about. So let's go look at the charms. 
Okay, guys. Let's see. I don't want to grab too many, but I want to make sure we have enough. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Definitely enough. So what do we have for signs? Okay, so we have the astro astrological ugh, sign of Pisces. And Pisces is the two fish. It's water sign. So it's intuitive. It's creative. And I just want to point out that, you know, we have the creative card and the Om card, which is about connecting to your spirituality, intuition, all of those things. And that really is well represented by Pisces being in there. So again, I want to reaffirm that this is a connecting into that intuitive, creative force that is very much Pisces. Okay. So what else do we have here? We have a deer, and this is a fawn actually, because I know it might be difficult to see, but there's spots on the back. So this is a baby deer. And, you know, normally when I see a deer, I think a deer in the headlights, but that's not the energy that I'm getting with it this week. Um, being the baby, I feel like this is the newness, the like fresh new feeling that comes with it and the path unfolding here in a really gentle way and really experiencing your what's coming up here as far as your intuitive connection and your creative flow of it being really um not childlike but with a really beautiful gentleness is the energy I'm getting with that. Now for letters, we have, that is actually the letter D because one side is straight there and L. This is the letter O and we have an F. So these can represent the initials of people who are important over the next couple of weeks or uh, the initials of events that are coming here. Now, I've got to say it's interesting that we have the spider who in um, native spirituality as a spirit totem, um, spider is the weaver of the alphabet. And because we had that creativity card, I feel like for many of you, this is about writing, okay? But for others of you, it is about, if you want to put it this way, like, weaving a new story for yourself, like a story that you write, that you enjoy, um, that you want to experience here in the world. And the reason I say that is because we have the infinite possibilities, remember? So this is about you weaving the story of what you want to experience in life and not putting a limit on yourself. Okay, hey, what else do we have? Nice. Okay, I'm really glad that we've got the anchor because the anchor means that we're getting grounded into these energies that they were talking about. So the energy of like speaking your truth, that it becomes a regular way of you being. It's not just a short term, oh, I'm going to be more expressive. This is you're anchoring in these energies, anchoring in this energy, anchoring in the energy of allowing yourself out here in the world, of your spiritual connection, your creativity, and anchoring in deeper intimacy in relationship. Hmm. You see where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> or spirit, really. And what else do we have here? Oh, goodness. Okay. So we have a little, this is a squirrel sitting on a branch. And the thing with squirrel is squirrels are busy. They're never just sitting around, you know, doing nothing. They're always um, sh shimmering. Oh, my goodness. Scurrying from here to there. They're collecting, right? Harvesting for 
uh, winter supply. And I feel like the, the message behind that is that coming up in this creative, spiritual connection flow, this isn't a time of just lollying around and um, easy quietness. I feel like they're talking about this is going to be a busy time for you, but that's okay because you need to have that creative flow. Now we've got a tree in full bloom with its leaves and I feel like that's talking about the ultimate expression. A tree in full leaves is summer. And I feel like that's the kind of energy they're talking about, that it's not just the newness of spring in this creative flow, but it's like the growing of things. It's not the new, it's the establishing, the full growth of everything that's coming through. Now, again, we're po we've got something pointing to some four-leaf clover is luck. And so I feel like they're talking about things working out for you in ways that you might not have expected, okay? Now, let's see what I'm just looking over there back at the cards because we have the devil. And when that devil shows up, a lot of the times they're talking about um, not acknowledging or listening to that inner voice that can, you know, sometimes sabotage us or wants to sabotage us or keep us small. It's about not listening to that inner voice and more honoring your your soul's voice, your intuition, your higher self and your calling and not getting stuck in old beliefs that no longer serve you. It's about a letting go of those things. And this kind of really backs it up because we have the frog and the frog, you know, they don't walk, they leap. And this is talking about a big leaps forward for you guys that whatever this is that's coming through in in this new time I keep saying that you guys are birthing stuff out into the world you're doing it in huge leaps and that things are going to work out for you in a way and okay so we also have the babies the baby clothes and I feel like that's kind of reaffirming what I was saying about giving birth to the new, okay? But this is like, this isn't newborn clothes. This is like, get that baby dressed and get it out in the world. <laughs> that's the energy. It's not about um, you creating this new stuff and keeping it out like for yourself, private. This is getting it out there in the world, fully dressed, fully ready to go, okay? Now, we also have the dragonfly. And dragonfly, um, dragonfly weaves between two worlds and between the world of air, land, and water, the water realm. So the water realm is creativity, air is mind. And so there's this, that whole creative process. But the thing to remember with dragonfly is even though they're stunningly beautiful, these guys are hunters. And this is about you guys going after what it is you want. Go after it, you guys. Um, because we also have the monopoly dog. And the Monopoly dog is cha-ching. So there's something about a, an abundance coming in here, going after what you want. Whatever it is that you guys are going to do, it's going to be fruitful. I have to say that every, all of these terms are pointing to that. Now, we also have the perfume with the number five on it. Now, with that number five, this can be talking about um, five days, five weeks, five months, OK? 
okay? It's going to be different for each of you, but perfumes connect to smell and smell is the strongest trigger for memories. And I feel like what they're talking about here is remembering who you really are and remembering coming back into this lightness, playful energy and really hmm, embracing it, like fully embracing who you are. And it's, I kind of get the feeling of leaving your mark on the world. You know, you leave your scent behind in a really beautiful way, in a, in a healthy way. And what else do we have here? Oh, goodness. Look at this. We have a piano. Okay. So this is, you guys are making the music. Um, sometimes when that music shows up, it's about going with the flow or going with the rhythm. And I feel like even though I said it's going to be a busy time for you guys, I still feel like you guys are going to be in charge of the tempo of how things are flowing. So it's not going to be too fast that you can't keep up. I feel like you're going to be right where you need to be as far as, um, the how things are flowing with this. Now, I am available for personal readings now, so if you would like a personal reading, the information is down below. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please do hit the like, and mwah, I will see you again next week. Take care. Hi, group two. Okay, our little peace guy is so cute. <laughs> and I shouldn't have favorites, but I, th I have to say they're my favorite. Okay, so what messages does Spirit have for our group two? And I'm feeling this one right away. Ah, resolution. That is a good card to start this reading with. Resolution, illumination. Gratitude. Mm. You guys have, um, it's a good energy coming out here. And deeper look. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull two more cards with it, but in just a second, because we have the resolutions card. So whatever it is that you guys have um, been working at to get straightened out in your lives. This resolutions card is saying, this is almost like four different pieces of a puzzle. And, you know, it's trying to figure out how, how the puzzle pieces fit together. How do we get these different aspects of our life or a particular situation to work harmoniously? And that resolutions card is telling me that it could be one or more different areas in your life that has been felt feeling like, you know, I can't quite get the, it just doesn't seem to work out. What is going on? I feel like I'm doing everything I can. And this is talking about having your ahas, like, Things are just kind of fitting together. And this could be in the realm of um, taking on new things in your life and trying to figure out how to fit these new things in to currently what is going on in your life. Because sometimes it's hard to add in new things. But I feel like things are getting worked out. And for some of you, that can be in the relationship department. But the strongest feeling I have here is in the um, life path, the career, um, money area. That's the, the biggest juice hit that I get with this card. And, okay, I'm going to hold on with that one for just a minute. And the reason I'm saying it's got that biggest hit is because we also have the illumination card. And that card... Oh, this is another one that loves to come out oh, every time I use this deck. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So the illumination card is talking about really allowing yourself to be seen and heard and to shine your light in this world. And like there's some coming coming to peace with that, with allowing yourself to be seen, allowing yourself to put yourself out there in the world and share whatever it is that you have to share. Like no more being a wallflower, like hiding and no more keeping yourself, you know, small or holding yourself back. This is about this huge opening and we have the gratitude card and that it's not, sometimes it is saying, you know, it's about switching into a place of gratitude. But with the way that this reading is talking with the resolution and you really allowing yourself out to be seen and shining your light and sharing your gifts with the world, I feel like this gratitude card is saying that the way that the path is unfolding here that it brings you into a place of just having appreciation for yourself, for your gifts, for the things that you have in life. You know, and it can sometimes just hit you out of the blue where you're like, oh my gosh, like, wow, things, wow. You know, it has that kind of energy to it. And I feel like there's stuff coming up here for you guys that you will have a lot to feel grateful for, that you will have natural gratitude for. Now, this deeper look card, what I'm going to do, we're going to get to that in a minute, but I'm going to pull two more cards just to get one. Okay, Earth Angel. There's another card that comes out consistently with every single time I use this deck. Okay, that makes sense though, doesn't it? The Earth Angel card is talking about you guys who are here to be in service, and this is talking about working that out, how that it will work out for you. So it's not about trying to figure out what is my path and what is my purpose and how do I put myself out there in a world in the world in a way that makes sense and has meaning. This is saying that that meaning is already, uh, not the meaning, the way is already there for you to meaningfully add your light out here into the world. With that deeper look card, I feel like this journey, this path, of what's going on, I feel like it's really going to put you in a place of that introspection because usually it's the events outside of us that force us to stop and look at ourselves. And usually it's the, um, the oh my God's moments <laughs> that hold us. And I feel like this, what this is that's unfolding and unraveling has been from the looking through the events that have been happening, doing your own personal growth work, looking at yourself, looking at other people, um, a lot of growth and seeing things for what they really are and not just what we can first perceive them to be on the surface. And in doing that, it's giving you that or it has given you that deeper sense and connection to the fact that you have something very valuable to share with the world. And the last but not least is the nectar card. And this is like the sweetness, the honey of life. And they're talking about that sweetness coming into your life with the things that are being resolved for you now, partially because of your own work that you've been doing, but because also it is your time. So you guys have some really nice, this is nice flowing energy. It's not just a rush of good things. 
This is like really gentle, easy, nice things unfolding here for you guys. It's beautiful. But I want to know what exactly it is that they're talking about. What is this juicy stuff coming? So let's go look at the charms. Not sure if we have enough. Let's... Okay, let's see what we've got here. So we've got, okay, we have Leo for astrological signs. Um, Leo, the lion, is ruled by the sun. And this is about you guys really shining your light. Because, you know, we had the illuminate and the star and the sun. So if these were tarot cards, it would be like good things are a coming for you guys. And Leo is highly creative, highly expressive. They're very parental, like take care of their children, that sort of thing. And so that's the energies that you're gonna be working in and around over the next little bit. And I have to say, having pride. Leo has a lot of pride in the things that they do. And I feel like in whatever is being resolved here for you guys, you have a lot to be proud of um, as far as what's coming up. Now, look at that. I was going to start reading the letters, but look at this. Oh my goodness. So, it has little stars down here, a couple little X's and stars. So we've got stars again, reaffirming what I had just said. And we have the lovers. Hmm. So I have to say, because we have, we had the resolutions card show up here, I feel like a part of what they're talking about for many of you guys is going to be resolutions in your intimate relationships, okay? Um, what do we have for letters? So we have the letter B, P, E, A, I, and R. So that can represent um, people, situations, or events. And uh, if you can spell any words out of that, let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Um, and what do we have here? A gift. We have the present. So, you know, sometimes they are talking about the present as in the present moment and really being in that. And I feel like with you guys, um, with what's being resolved here, it's going to be important to stay in the present and not slip back into the past, right? Especially when it comes to relationships, not dredging up things that have happened in the past. I have to say that. Oh my goodness. And we have a starfish. You know, we've got stars here, stars here, stars, the illuminate card in the stars. Whew, I think they are really, really trying to get the message across that it is about you shining your light. Now, what is this? It has it's just a, it has no, it's a blank slate. Okay, this is a pendant that has nothing on it. It's a blank slate. And I feel like that is kind of what I was saying with that you need to be present, stay in the present, not go into the past, that this is a blank slate. And whatever's being resolved, you're starting fresh, starting new, and you get to write rewrite the story if you want to put it that way we also have the letter m so i'll put that over there and it's quite a, a fancy now we had leo and now again we have the sun so in astrology the sun each planet represents different um aspects but the sun represents you directly as in the expression of soul so we have the sun twice because the sun rules leo that this is a time of you guys really 
when it comes to that earth angel card really becoming <laughs> not becoming expressing i feel like that's a better word for it expressing yourselves in a in a way a being also that is way more authentic and true to yourself that you have wanted to um the way you've wanted to express yourself and also i'll turn it that way with the earth angel card and we have an angel wing look at that so really they are trying to get this message across that you know these things are coming to ease in other areas of your life to free you up to really be able to step forward in the world with i'm going to say peace in a peaceful way because you guys chose the peace um buddha and we have the peace symbol here as well so this is a time where it is where you get to just enjoy the fruits of life you guys my goodness look how many letters are here so we also have the letter g now we have the dragon and dragons fly so this is about rising above rising above situations uh, you know if you're talking about resolutions the fire transforms so i feel if any of you have had situations in relationships that maybe there's been some arguing arguing or fighting um, that may have happened that it's talking about resolutions to that but that fire is also transformation and I feel like, honestly, with that Earth Angels card, that is a big part of the message of what they're talking about there with that. And what is this? Oh, okay. It's a milk carton. And, you know, with milk, milk, um, it's the very first food we ingest as an infant, when we come into the world, it's the first nutrient we take in. And I feel like they're talking about this feeding of your soul, not you doing things to, to make that happen, but that the events that are coming up here are the things that are really going to nurture you in your relationships in your service to others, in you shining your light out here in the world. And look at that, Dragonfly f has shown up again. It was just in the last set of charms. So with Dragonfly, Dragonflies, you know, they are iridescent, which means they shimmer. They contain all the colors of the rainbows in there. But it isn't until the wing changes angles that you can see all these different colors. And I feel like this is kind of symbolic of what you guys are going through here with these really beautiful ah, changes and healings happening in different areas of your life. These resolutions that it helps you to literally spread your wings and shine your light like all the rainbow colors of you that make you you so i'm taking the long way to say that this is the full expression of you now we also have the whale tail okay and with that whale you know they're the most mag majestic creatures of the sea but whales and dolphins are the strongest symbolism of spiritual connection of like spiritual intelligence and connecting into that divine mind and this is you like swimming in that operating from that and the tail is part of what um 
creates the movement forward. So we have that motion forward. You guys are out of whatever stagnant areas, whatever was stagnant, you're moving out through that. Now, we also have the little gecko, and the gecko's tail is a spiral. Wherever we have spirals, we have healing, and we have a huge amount of energy coming out. And the gecko is quick. Those, those guys are like whip through. So I feel like there's a lot of fast motion, movement, things moving quickly in here. I don't feel like this is going to take a long time for things to unfold. And we also have the egg corn. Okay, so I feel like in one way, this is about planting new seeds for the present, right? Because we were talking about staying present, letting the past be the past, and writing your own new story, if you want to put it that way, because it's a blank slate, and planting new seeds for the way that you want to be in service to the world, for the way that you want to um, shine your light and participate and make a difference in the world, that you are planting all of those seeds now. And with the spider web there, spider web. So that tells me that there may still be some little bits of sticky situations going on that you have to be conscious of and aware of that you don't get stuck in it. You go, okay, wait, this is some old stuff happening. I'm not going to get stuck into that web anymore. I'm going to take a deeper look because this is about taking a look into the deeper processes of what's happening. And, you know, it's like calling yourself out, catching yourself before you get stuck in it and pulling away and um, acting differently, behaving differently to move yourself forward in a different path. And then the last, last two that we have here is the triangle with the circle inside. So, I mean, there's so many different symbolisms of the triangle, but one of the biggest ones is the three points represent, in a way, the Holy Trinity. And it's a part of what makes up the Merkaba or Merkaba, depending on how you pronounce it, it can be different. And that's very much, um, your spiritual force because our bodies our light bodies are this merc merkaba energy and it feels like that energy going in in motion in movement because we have the double circle here so it's the completion of old cycles and really getting your energy body in flow and you want to say shining and this, yes, you guys, you are the special snowflakes and not in a bad way at all. And this one is talking about you really, let's put it this way, shining your light for the very unique way nature that you are, that you let yourself be that unique expression because you are. Now, I am available for personal readings. If you want a personal reading, the information is down below. I hope you liked your reading. Please do hit the like, and I will see you again next week. Take care.